guys what's up i hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so i actually recently scrummaged through some parcels that i received and turns out that i have had an nz sale order come through which i'm super excited about because it means that i get to sit down and film a haul today with you guys now i have this really awkward like bump in the back of my tongue so if i'm not as enthusiastic or if i feel like i've got a slight lisp I'm trying to speak really properly but it's kind of hard just bear with me okay it's really annoying it's sitting right at the corner right at the back of my tongue and it's making me hard for me to talk so the first thing that I picked up was the the bourgeois 10 hour sleep effect foundation it's sort of a I'm pretty sure it's a new foundation that came out on the market it's still got like the barcode on this like white thing so I can't see it properly but I definitely got the shade in Rose or Rosé, whichever one it was. It's in the number 72. I tried my best to have a look at online swatches to kind of see if this one would work for my skin colour. And I'm just having my fingers crossed that it will. I can kind of see it through the plastic packaging. And it looks alright. It could be a little bit too light, but I'll give it a go and see how we go. I've tried out the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I haven't worn it as much. At least not enough to do a review on it. But you'll definitely be seeing a review coming up on this one. Next, I picked up a selected bunch of eyeliners which I'm going to go through in no particular order but the first one of the bunch was the Maybelline New York Definer Line Eyeliner. This is in slate grey. I don't really have a colour like this as far as a nice dark um, glide on sort of a liner goes. I love the fact that it's an auto eyeliner. They're my favourite kind as you guys know um, for everyday wear and also it's got a little smudge tip at the bottom um, which is a sort of spongy dome shaped applicator and it's it's awesome because if those of you who are just you know starting out in makeup don't have a pencil brush that you can use to smudge eyeliner or eyeshadow for more smokier looks then these eyeliners um, actually do a pretty pretty decent job at doing that now this is extremely inexpensive if you live for example in the states you can get this liner at pretty much any drugstore Walgreens CVS um, you can get it at Walmart Target anywhere that stocks Maybelline as a brand um, and when I was actually in the states I used this one for the first time and I got the dark blue color and although I really really liked using it the color isn't something that I guess I thought was too versatile as far as the formula went in the eyeliner for me to be using it every day because I just fell in love with how smooth the formula was how easy it was to put on and I just fell in love with the liner so I'm really glad I was able to pick up a slightly darker color this time next I picked up the covergirl outlast smooth wear lip liner this is in the shade rose it's in the number 105 it sort of looks like a really dusty rose color i haven't swatched it yet of course everything's still in its original packaging but i'm really excited to give this a go because i don't actually have um any pink liners that i could line my lips with and a couple of the pink shades that i own that aren't as moisturizing like the next round lipsticks for example um for example the rimmel kate moss lipsticks and the um kind of more matte mattifying formulas those ones are a little bit tricky to work with sometimes if you want it to be super super long lasting so i'm really excited to give this liner a go and hopefully it'll help i also picked up another lip liner and this is the l'oreal paris infallible lip liner 706 golden burgundy is the color so this is a i have swatched it and this one is a sort of really light terracotta based burgundy shade with a hint of gold specks in it it's not glittery but it's got a touch of uh, a golden metallic sheen running through it so this one will be quite um, versatile and interesting to pair with um, more of my orangey nudes or browns like a couple of my MAC lipsticks I hope all of these products make it into favorites because that's when you know well that's when I know that it's my money well worth spent I like the pointy tip of this as well I don't know why it's pointed don't really know what the purpose of it is but whatever next i picked up an eyeshadow quad that i have been wanting to get for a few years now since it first came out and this is the maybelline new york eye studio eyeshadow palette in cozy cashmere i just think these colors are so so phenomenal for olive to dark skin tones and especially actually even if you're 
you know an ivory shade or a paler skin color you can really utilize the colors in here and make your own um look and still have it be very versatile paired with uh, eyeshadows from you know other brands this white one here actually i'm looking at it and i'm thinking it's a pretty decent and close dupe to max retrospect next i picked up another eyeliner of course they were having a massive eyeliner sale and i just kind of went nuts and went for gold i'm pretty sure these were like between three to five dollars each so why the hell not and this one i'm actually super super excited to try and i can actually see myself wearing this a lot during the daytime as well and this is the maybelline new york master drama by i studio auto eyeliner that is in the shade navy knockout which is a beautiful color for any skin tone i genuinely mean any skin tone um i don't know how many of you guys that are subscribed to my channel watch um essie from essie button but estee is one of those people that has is a, a very beautiful ivory kind of skin tone and her skin tone is a little bit more paler than some of the other um, beauty gurus on YouTube that use colored liner but she actually used a true navy blue liquid I think it was a liquid or gel eyeliner in one of her vlogs she looked amazing and I had to uh, comment on her video and let her know um, how great she looked because I genuinely have never seen her look that good like ever I think that's the best she's ever looked to me the next few products you guys will no doubt have heard of if you are a makeup fiend like me and have been in the community for a few years now and these are the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoos so I picked up four of them the four colors I got were a ready set green which is in the number 200 and this one is just a really really gorgeous a true jade green the next color I picked up is one that you will most likely see in a video very shortly uh, and this this is Test My Teal, which is in the number 400. And this one is pretty self-explanatory, as you can see in my hand. It is a true, true teal color. It's not a color that I would normally pick up or spend, um, you know, the full priced purchase on. So that will be exciting. The next color I picked up is in Rich Mahogany, which is in also in the number 400. Are these all just numbered the same? I swear I've like gone through like two 400s but this one is not a mahogany actually this is a very very true wooden dark bronze brownie bronze shade it's not a mahogany shade at all so this one will be quite nice to wear on the lids and really pack on um, and wear as an everyday color or even to switch it into a transition evening shade the last color tattoo that I picked up this one I would probably say looks the most beautiful in its packaging this one is in the shade mossy green which is a true true olive shade it looks so pigmented and just so beautiful in the packaging that I swear I would probably end up using this as a liner as well as a lid color. The next item that I bought was in fact a mascara and I don't need any more but this was again another impulse buy. It was so ridiculously cheap that I had to buy it just to try it out and hopefully put it on my blog at some stage and compare them to the ones that I already have and I've been actually wanting to try this one for a few weeks now so that was very coincidental that it just popped up to be a steal and this is the L'Oreal Paris of volume million lashes mascara on the packaging it says that the result is instantly thicker lashes even the shortest an ideal amount of formula with zero clumps so very interesting we'll see if it lives up to what the product claims the next two products would probably have to be very unexpected but I am so like I fangirled over them so hard out when I saw them and these two are bronzers both are by L'Oreal Paris the first one is the L'Oreal Paris glam bronze wild instinct bronzer I don't know how much of this you can see in the camera but this bronzer inside the packaging looks freaking stunning it's just got this beautiful rose gold foil over the top of the product that has a little bit of density to it so it'll probably be quite shimmery when you first put it on but 
it's it's just one of those things I look at and I think well I definitely won't need a highlighter when I put this bronzer on and and once the foil's gone you could probably use it for everyday wear but I was so excited to use this for like a really super bronzed up look um as an evening sort of makeup look and just the rose gold foiling on this actually reminds me a lot of uh Rihanna's limited edition collection that she brought out with MAC last year where she had the rose gold R on um on her classic bronzer and the next bronzer of course is the L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze in Wild Instinct again and oh sorry let me tell you this one that I just showed was in uh, medium which is called Walk on the Wild Side it's in the number 302 and this one right here is in the number 303 it's dark um, and it's called Born to be Wild the next eye product that I picked up is again by CoverGirl and this one is the Lip Perfection Lip Liner in the number 220 and Sophisticated. I am so excited that I own a liner like this now. I would describe this one as just a true violet lip liner. This one would look amazing with colours paired like Cyber by MAC, Max Rebel, Max Pure Heroin, which is the uh, new Lord lipstick that came out with Lord's Limited Edition collection. So the final product is something that wasn't actually from NZ Sale, but it is a product that I would like to show you guys anyway, because it is a very recent purchase. I was on the fence about buying it for ages, but I thought, okay, screw it, I'm just going to get it because I do really need a gel liner. This final product is the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama by Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner, and I got it in the number 950, which is in black as black. I have heard some really amazing things. I've seen endless reviews on this product and blogs, and I had to just try it out for myself, and I don't actually think this is going to let me down because A, I need a gel liner, B, this has been compared to a lot of high-end brands that do the same sort of liner, and it is a really nice moist liner that's said to not really dry out um, as fast, so that's something that I'm really excited about. And with that said, that is a wrap on this haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Somebody's car alarm is going off outside my window. Fantastic. All these noises every time I want to film. Um, as usual, all my social media links are linked down below. And leave me a comment and let me know what some things you guys have bought lately were and whether or not you ended up liking them or not. I'm always so open to new suggestions trying out new things or just having an open discussion on my channel is something that I am always going to encourage to you guys or girls whoever's watching this and with that said I am gonna go and I will see you in my next video bye